Welcome back to KNK Wisher Productions. I'm Karthik here, and today we're gonna learn how to rig a car inside Blender. This is a model which I'm gonna use for today's tutorial and have downloaded this from Sketchfab. I will give the link for downloading this model in the description. So for rigging our car, I'm gonna use the add-on called Rig a Car. So first, add the default monkey object and make sure that your vehicle is facing the exact direction as a monkey. If your car is facing the same axis as a monkey, then you are ready to go. So the first step is drag select the whole car and shift S and select cursor to select it. Then what you have to do is add an empty object. So I'm going to add the plane axis. The second step is drag select the whole car, then hold shift and select the plane axis, then control P set pattern to object keep transform. Now when you select the plane axis and try to move, you can see the car is moving with our plane axis. If your car is moving with the plane axis, then you are on the right track. Then select the plane axis, go to object, apply and select all transform. Now our next step is adding the empty object to each wheels. So select the wheel, go to edit mode, make sure all your vertices are selected, then shift S and select cursor to select it. Then go back to object mode, shift A, add an empty object and select plane axis. Now do the same process to all the four wheels. So I'm just gonna speed it up real quick. So now we have added the plane axis to our car and the plane axis to all four wheels. Now our next step is parenting each wheels to their respective plane axis. So in order to select the whole wheel, what you have to do is select each part of the wheel and hide by clicking on edge. Then, then click by holding alt and edge so that all the wheels will get visible. Hold shift and select the plane axis. Then control P, select parent, parent, object to keep transform. Now if you try to move the plane axis, you can see the whole wheel is moving with our axis. That means again, you are on the right track. So now you have to do the same process to all the four wheels. So I'm just gonna speed it up real quick once again. Now if you select the main plane axis and try to move, you can see only the body of the car is moving but not the wheels. If that's happening with you, then you are good to go. Now this is our second large step. We have to name all those plane axis. So naming this plane axis has an has a specific order. So I have just given this notepad. I'll just give you this notepad in the description or you can just take the screenshot and copy the same. So copy my car body. Then select the main plane axis, right click, rename active object, then just paste it. And now do the same to each wheels. So select the wheels, right click, rename active object, go to a notepad, there you will find my car wheel front left. Just copy that and paste it. Now do the same to all the four wheels. So once you have renamed all the plane axis, this is our last step. Now drag select all the empty object, not the car, just the empty object. So drag select all the empty object, shift A and go to armature, then go to car deformation rig. And once you clicked on that, you can see there are some bones which have been created on our car. Now. On the right side, just go to our rig a car option and click generate. So that's it guys for today's tutorial. I hope you loved it. If you are still watching this video, that means you loved it, right? So why don't you subscribe my channel and help me grow. So once again, you are watching k and k Visual Productions. I'm Karthik and I'm signing off. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.